this video I'm going to relate spontaneity to equilibrium. We can do that by comparing our two constants Q and K. So this is the formula we're going to use. We have the delta G gives free energy is equal to R times T, which is the R constant and temperature. And what really matters, what we care about is this section right here that relates Q and K. So we have the ln of Q over K. So that will give us a ratio. So we're going to have two different cases. When the reaction proceeds to the right, when the reaction proceeds to the left, or when it has reached equilibrium. So case number one. If when we have a reaction that proceeds to the right, we know that the system is going to be reactant heavy. And when the system is reactant heavy, Q would be less than K. So Q is going to be smaller. And when we add that to our equation, that will tell us that the numerator is less than the denominator. And using that logarithm right there, that is going to give us a negative value. So if this whole part right here is negative, that means that our delta G at the end is also going to be negative. Now case number two, our reaction is proceeding to the left. So that will tell us that the system is product heavy. So the opposite, meaning that Q will be greater than K. And plugging that in the equation, the denominator is going to be smaller than the numerator. That's going to give us a positive number when we compute the logarithm of that, meaning that at the end, everything will be positive as well. Now, case number three, the reaction is at equilibrium. So that means that Q would be equal to K. When Q is equal to K, this division right here in the formula will give us one. The ln of one is zero. So delta G will be equal to zero. And now to summarize all, all of these three cases, I have this table. So first, we have to figure out where the system proceeds to. So if it's to the left, the, the division between Q and K is going to be less than 1, meaning that the ln of that is going to be negative, and delta G would also be negative. If the system is proceeding to the right, that division is going to be greater than 1, the ln of that would be positive and the delta G would also be positive. And if we're at equilibrium, Q and K would be the same. The division would be equal to one. The ln of one would be zero and delta G would also be zero. So finally, knowing these factors will help you understand how the system will proceed if you have the values of Q and K and therefore know what kind of reaction you, you're dealing with by obtaining the sign of the delta G. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.